Okay. So what I tested works. So I'm fairly confident. That one wasn't very loud. I'm fairly confident that if I print this out as is, it'll work. But I am going to make a few changes to it, just minor things, just to clean it up a bit. Uh, for one, there's a fillet here. It's this one. I am going to go ahead and remove a couple of edges from that fillet. Okay, I can't. Why can't I uh, remove those edges? Maybe it was over here? Select. I can't remove those edges. So I'll go ahead and delete the fillet. And the reason I need to delete the fillet is because I need at least one side of this to be completely flat for more contact with the build plate so it doesn't peel off. Um, but I am going to go ahead and go back in and fillet this edge. And then this side is going to be the bottom side of the of the headband and it's going to basically be the comfortable side that I can it's going to be more comfortable to wear that way. Secondly, this is a little bit longer than it really needs to be. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... Mm, what is this? Hang on. I'm going to measure this. That is six. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make it 6 then. So then, on the sketch that made this, which was this, or was it this? It was this sketch. I'm going to change this 12 and make that a 6 to match with, to match with this edge, you know? And then, this little hole here is actually gonna make it use more material when it prints, believe it or not, because that adds surface area here, which means more perimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Then align here and here then I'm going to go ahead and extrude I just realized that's going to that's going to not quite go where I need it to go but I'm going to fix that too uh, to the other side Okay, and then there's these little raised bumps. That I don't want that. So then, make a rectangle that just is on the whole darn. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and project. all of that and then I'm going to finish the sketch and cut that out
And there's a teeny, teeny tiny hole there. Is it on the other side? Yeah. Weird. Where? That's the wrong shape. Well, that's fine. Is it on the? Is it on this side? Well, I can kind of fix that too. Uh, extrude this. Start at an object here, and go to an object here. Click on join, and that did change the geometry, so. But the hole is still there. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that. That's odd. Well, is the hole on the outside? Oh, it's not a hole. It's just a weird line. It's just a weird piece of geometry left over from me being sloppy. Oh well. And then I also can close this up. And that should be the everything I need all right there. Something, let's see. I called it seventy four. Five, right? And yeah, seventy five. Then in the sketch where this was created, it was seventy five and a chunk, basically seventy six. Okay, that's good then because. That will give me enough, enough um, wiggle room when it comes to the support material. Because the support material, when I print this out, I'm not going to print it facing in this direction, but facing in this direction. So that this has strength in the correct direction. Which is really annoying because look at all that unsupported stuff there that's going to need supports. Don't like that, but oh well. Um, but, anyways, that means there's going to be support going from the bottom all the way up to here and sometimes on a big long surface like this that's being supported like that it just kind of gets messy and so that x that that space there that home well not whole but almost a millimeter worth of space gives me enough room to work with when it comes to the messiness of the bottom there because it'll be an irregular surface that I have to clean up but yeah I'll go ahead and export these uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one though and rename it to
I'm calling it tall headband because the part that because the vision of the phone on this one will be high up so it'll look tall or it'll look like it's being taken from a tall person uh, this one I'm going to rename to headband without a number and then phone holder gets to stay as phone holder and where is hat ah, funny So now I have this thing and I can export this. How many triangles? Wait, I almost forgot. I'm going to um, put some fillets on some of these edges here. about one, one millimeter. That way, that way sharp angles won't mess with the phone. So, because you know, phone screens like to get scratched a lot. And they also like to get cracked a lot. So, just adding these rounded edges will help with that. So now I can export this. How many triangles does this have? 992. Okay. Yes, replace the file. And then this one, how many triangles does it have? 1,840. Most of them are in this area. Yes, replace the file. And now I can print this out, and I should have a way of basically hands-free recording with my phone without dealing with it'll be hands-free recording with my phone and I'll be able to see what the camera is seeing in a more natural way than having to like look somewhere else specifically you know I can just pretend I'm just not looking through a phone camera or a camera screen so this will be this this is honestly kind of a stupid idea but whatever anyways I printed it up I've exported it and now I will print it and it should work because everything I've tested works and what's really stupid is this is an insanely simple idea and my first idea was way more complicated that's that's why people have the saying kiss stands for keep it simple stupid or keep it sweet and simple or keep it short and simple but I learned keep it simple stupid because to overcomplicate things is stupid so you should keep it simple it's too, it's too simple 
I don't like how simple it is. My overcomplicated glasses thing. I don't know. I like that better. It just didn't work. So I guess... Whatever. This is going to take a lot of plastic, though. Anyways, anyways, anyways. going to go ahead and print this out and have a functional, more or less, device for my purposes. Nice.